what is Jesus really like? Is he just surrounded by Santa Claus and shepherds and wise men in a nativity set? Hey, let me tell you about my best friend, Jesus. A lot of people hear his name. It's a common name. Sometimes it's used as a, a curse word, unfortunately. Many people know that Jesus was born as a baby here on earth, but many people don't realize who the true Jesus is. The more we realize who he is, the more we fall in love with him. For example, John 1 verses 1 through 3 tells us, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was nothing made that was made. And you say, well, who is this Word then that was with God, was equal with God, created all things? And you drop down to verse 14 of John 1, and it says, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. The word is another word name for Jesus right there in John chapter one. This is telling us in one of many places that Jesus was actually active in the creation of this world. When Adam was formed by the dust of the ground, that was the, those were the hands of Jesus forming Adam. When God breathed into Adam's nostrils the breath of life to make him become a living soul. That was Jesus breathing into Adam. So Jesus is the creator, and he allowed those same hands that formed Adam later to be nailed to the cross by the descendants of Adam. This gives a whole new significance to who Jesus is. We find that he is also the promised Messiah, all through the Old Testament books of the Bible, the first 39 of the 66 books, we learn that there's a Messiah that's been promised. The first promise is found in Genesis 3.15, but you find all these promises all the way through. There will be a Messiah, an anointed one, who will come and who will save his people and die for the sins of the world. And we see one of those powerful promises right there written by Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 53. And I'll just pick it up in verses 3, 4, and 5. This is a prophecy of Jesus coming from heaven to earth 700 years it was written before Jesus came. He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we did not esteem him. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. This is one of the hundreds of prophecies about Jesus given before he came to help us identify that Jesus truly was God the Son that left heaven and was born here on earth. He came to die for our sins. And because of that, we can have peace with God. We can have peace with other people. So Jesus was the creator, the Messiah that was prophesied. He is the savior of the world who died on that cross. He wants to be Lord of our life to help give us guidance day by day by day. He is the high priest in the heavenly sanctuary and he has promised to come again and take us back with him. In John 14, he said, verses one to three, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Jesus will come again. So Jesus is a wonderful God, Savior, Lord, Messiah, intercessor, creator, soon coming King, and our healer as well. 
Don't you love Jesus? Don't you want to tell somebody about Jesus today and how wonderful he is?